Uh, hi, beautiful people. We are going to start with our mind maps um, and we're going to go into chapter one and two just kind of quickly this week to kind of get the overview of what you need to know about population and migration. Um, generally, you know, there is um, a trend of how co how countries grow. Uh, we, you know, every country starts out as just small little tribes, uh, hunter and gatherer tribes that slowly, um, you know, start farming. That's sort of the, the big step it's out of, out of these small tribe areas. As soon as people start, start farming, they have more food. They stop like, you know, having these territorial wars, um, and the population starts to grow. So, Anyway, we were going we're going to look at all of that and how we ended up with 7.5 billion people on the planet, a quarter of which are all in this area right here. So I would like you to start with your my maps, mymaps.google.com and you go to mymaps.google.com and then we're going to go to chapter 2. And yes, we are starting with chapter two because we are we're probably only going to hit the first two key issues. I'm kind of going to, you know, um, gloss over it a little bit. We're not going to read the chapter into too much detail, um, but you are going to have to, you know, plot these places on the map. For one, we are going to uh, mostly draw lines and shapes around four areas um, of the of the globe and plot some places as I talk about them in a slideshow that we are about to do. So you're going to have this ready and I would have your, uh, you know, click your scissors. Um, it's a little bit harder to manipulate the map when you're in half, half screen, but you want to go pretty close. So, um, let's see, um, let's zoom, zoom in and you want to look, we're going to first look at East Asia. So when we look at Asia, right, this is all Asia. Russia is usually like called Eurasia because um, it's in Europe over here. You should all know that we have Africa and then we have Europe and then we have Asia, which is so huge. Nobody ever says Asia. So you need to know your areas, right? This is East Asia right here. This is Southeast Asia and South Asia, and this is Southwest Asia, otherwise known as the Middle East. So Southwest Asia um, is here, but when people say the Middle East, it's one of those vernacular regions, they often mean uh, North Africa as well, um, because they were all trading back and forth, uh, at least this way, not up and down, um, but you know, east to west along the same lines of latitude. So we're going to start with making a few shapes. Um, you are going to basically be drawing shapes and plotting places as I talk about these these um, these different areas in the slideshow that is coming. You're going to kind of be doing three different things at once. You are going to be plotting places on the map. And anytime you plot a place, you want to write as much as you can in the description. And you want to be taking notes on all these new terms. Um, chapter two has a lot of important terms that we need to be able to discuss. Um, you know, crude birth rate, crude death rate, and we abbreviate everything. So CBD, CDR, LE, TFR, there's all these, all these crazy things, which you'll learn about in just a second. So first thing we're going to do, you're going to plot the most populated area of the planet, which is in uh, East Asia. And you're just kind of, don't draw too many dots. A East Asia, you're going to include Japan and you can come around, not Mongolia. Mongolia is not very populated. And East Asia kind of goes right down through the middle of China. And the reason why we don't include Western China in this is because Western China is not very populated. But Eastern China is very populated. And we're going to go all the way back until we click our first dot. And that is the number one most populated area. So East Asia, most populated um, region. Um, and, you know, basically almost like 1.5 billion there alone. Actually, probably by now, it's probably more like 2 billion. It's a little bit of an estimate, but, um, and 
there's going to be maybe more that we put in here. Uh, you can just do a quick color change, but don't spend too much time getting fancy little cute flags or anything. Um, you're going to end up having four different regions. Um, and make sure you remember that Japan, South Korea, North Korea is right here, very different than South Korea. North Korea is very, very um, unpopulated compared to South Korea, but also very undeveloped and closed. It's a very, it's a totalitarian state. They are kind of paranoid about the world. So you probably know a lot about North Korea just from the movies and stuff. But South Korea is very developed. One of the wealthiest countries in the world compared to North Korea, which is very much not. So Japan, South Korea, very wealthy. And Eastern China also is um, very wealthy now. So um, that's that area. And we're going to label, you're probably going to have four different places here, but we're going to move on. Basically, remember, you're doing three things. You're going to be plotting these places on the map. You're going to be taking notes on your reading. And you're going to be watching the slideshow and you're going to be stopping my slideshow. My slideshow is really the, I'm going to go through that and kind of just explain everything so we don't have to read the book so much for this chapter. Um, but you will be following along with the book. So maybe four things while you're doing all this. Um, number one, you've got my slideshow that you're going to put up in just a minute. Number two, you've got this map that you're working on. Number three, you're taking notes. Number four, you have your book next to you. Okay, so hopefully you have a good study area and you are ready to go. Remember, you should always pause the map when you are, you know, writing things and plotting things. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. And next, on to the slideshow.